Hey everybody, I just want to show you a simple forensic technique that we can use called ink chromatography. Okay, so we've got different pens and so we're going to go and put a dot on, just this is just normal filter paper. You can actually just use paper towel as well, something that's going to absorb the liquid. So we're just going to put, I might actually use my pencil first of all and just make some marks here. So one, two, three, four, and then CS for the crime scene. Okay, so we've actually labelled our pens, so we know which one's which. So, pen one, and two, pen three, pen four, now I'm going to sneak them in. Without showing you, make one of these the crime scene pen, okay? So no peeking. Use a solvent. So a solvent is just a liquid in which stuff dissolves. And we're actually going to use methylated spirits. And we're going to use it in the beaker, but you don't need to use a beaker, you can use any sort of cup. And I'm just going to use a, um, a, a paddle pop stick just to hold it so it doesn't fall over in the liquid. It's just going to sit up like this. Now, this is the most important part. We don't want to cover these dots, our ink, in the methylated spirits. We want to finish the methylated spirits around about here. Okay, I'm just going to put it in. Now, you'll see that the methylated spirit starts to get drawn up, up through the... Um, it gets drawn up through the filter paper using capillary action and it's going to go up through our dots of ink and it's going to drag the ink up and separate it into different colours. Now the way it separates based on how, it, how well it dissolves, how soluble it is. So the, the colour that's, uh, that's the least soluble, that's not going to go as far and the colour that's most soluble is going to stretch out the first. So we're going to time lapse this to make it a bit quicker for you. Okay, so can you guess which one the crime scene is? So it's probably not one, it's probably not four. And I say that because the crime scene one's got a lot more blue in it. So that's why I definitely don't think it's four. And so we're trying to work out if it's two or three. I'm guessing that it's probably two. You can see how re uh, three has a lot more of the red early on. But so, so the pattern that you see here is based on, you know, even though the colors of these pens look black, you can see that they're not actually black at all. They're made up of a, a number of different colors. And the pattern we see depends on how soluble each of those different pigments are. The more soluble, the further up they go. The less soluble, they um, get deposited earlier on. And that's a characteristic colour or pattern for a particular pen. So scientists can use this to try and pinpoint the pen that was used at the crime scene. And this is called chromatography.